Hey guys, welcome to Amen Clothing YouTube channel. So in this channel, we use patterns to teach you how to create unlimited designs in tailoring. So if you're yet to subscribe, please do what to subscribe. If you're not a subscriber, thanks for always coming back. So this is what we are going to be making today. It's a v-neck, a deep v-neck dress that has a cape. That means the, the sleeve and the part of the dress is together. So this is what it looks like, the front and the back. If that's what you're interested in learning how to make, please stick with me while I'll show you every detail on how I achieved this. Okay, like I said, I'm not close to my working studio, but let's head straight to it now. So this is my front, basic front bodies. Okay, I have my bust point, my under bust, and my waist line or half length. So I'm going ahead now to impute my side bust that, which I didn't impute in this very particular body while drafting it. So from that very line of my armhole, I'm marking two inches and I'm taking half inch on both sides of the two inch mark. And okay, I'm going to be connecting that, the very two inch to my bust point. And I'm going to be connecting it as a dart on the half inch on both sides. So this is what we're going to be having as our basic front bodies. Then I'll go ahead. Also, this is the back. These are the things you'll be needing for this tutorial. Your basic front bodies, your back, of course, your back bodies, of course, and also your sleeve. Okay, I've labeled center sleeve, back, and front. So these are the things you'll be needing for this very particular tutorial. Okay. So having done that, let's work on the front bodies first. Please, you want to listen attentively so you get everything I'm saying. For the front bodies now, we are using a shoulder princess seam. We are using a shoulder princess seam. So I'm marking the tip, the center of my shoulder, and I'm going to have to connect it to my bust point. Okay, I've marked the center of my shoulder and I've connected it to my bust point. I hope that is clear. So having done that, I'm going to be removing, like I'm cutting open my side bust that okay i'm going to be cutting open my side bust that which is what i'm doing right now so having cut open my side bust that i want to get my sleeve and from the center i will separate this sleeve front one side back one side i'm separating the front and the back of the sleeve from the center i've gonna have to separate it so i'm going to be attaching the front of my sleeve to my front bodies you want to make sure that your shoulder line is in accordance with your center sleeve just exactly the way it is on the screen so having done that now because this is an off shoulder dress i'm going to be going ahead to come down by one inch from this very particular point of the armhole i'm coming down by one inch so having done that now i'll go ahead to mark that shape that v-neck shape okay I'm going to mark that v-neck shape like so remember the one inch that is for the off shoulder i'm going to be marking that v-neck shape like so so we are taking that very part off we don't need it since it's an off shoulder we don't need it okay remember no matter how deep you go is how deep your off shoulder will be and because we don't want to leave cleavages or make it to be very you know it's going to be looking decent that was why i used one inch you can use two inches maximum of three inches please so I haven't done that now. I'm going to be determining that very center. Look at the picture on the screen. That very center, okay? I want to determine how much wideness I want it to be. So I used one inch. You can use 1.5. I used one inch. You can use 1.5. So I'm going to have to join the dotted lines that I marked together like so, okay? And this is what we're having right now. So actually for the very part of the cape area, from the sleeve what we need is our cap sleeve okay but what i'm having now is a a what we call it is kind of my round my upper round arm sleeve but i'm going to be shortening it to my cap sleeve so i marked three inches okay from the very tip of my sleeve from where this sleeve started i marked three inches and i'm coming i'm connecting that three inches line to this very particular one inch like so i hope you understand i'm connecting that three inches line to this very particular one inch like so and this is what we are having so 
So I haven't done that now. This is what we're having. So I'm going ahead to trace out the whole of that. So before I trace it out, I'm going ahead to contour my underbust. If you look at the picture, you'll find out that there is this fit at the underbust that makes it look at, like a bust area. Even if someone is not wearing it, it looks like, yes, this part is a breast area, okay? So I'm going ahead to contour my underbust. And that is what I've done now. And then I'm going ahead to cut trace out this very whole area so we can work on the main bodies of the front okay i'm going to be writing trace so you see i'm tracing out this very whole area like so okay so i'm gonna have to trace out this area and this is what it looks like okay i've traced it out this is what it looks like so i haven't done that now i'll go ahead to detach the sleeve so i work on the main front bodies So I'm going to have to cut this very part off. We wouldn't be needing it, cutting it off because we are in, but we won't be needing it, okay? And remember, this is a shoulder princess seam. So that very line I marked from the tip of my shoulder to my bust point, I will just cut it open. Then I'll close up my side bust that and open it at that very particular area. Okay, I hope you understand. I'll close up my side bust that and open it at that very particular area. So I'm going to be using my tape now to hold this down like so. And then I'll go ahead to use my scissors to cut this like so. And then I'm smoothing out this area because we do not want any pointed shape. We don't want any pointed edge. You want the breast to fall naturally. So it comes out nice and looks professional, okay? So these are the two piece for the front and of course the cape area which is the three piece that we'll be needing for the front. Okay. This is the whole of the front pattern. This is the whole of the front pattern. I'll set it aside and we'll work on the back. So for the back which is actually simple, I'll go ahead to attach my sleeve just like we did to the front. And I'm going ahead to tape it down like so. Also, I'll be marking one inch with my ruler at this very particular area for the off shoulder. I want to determine the depthness of my back. Okay, I think I'll be using here. You want to use whatever it is that you feel will be nice for you. Do not make it too deep. So I'm going ahead to remove this like so now. You want to give this a very nice shape. I feel like I didn't shape this well, like the drawing isn't looking nice, but then I'm going ahead to make it look okay. Okay, I think I like what I'm having now. And then, yeah, this is it. So also, same thing we are going to be doing. We'll be needing a cap sleeve so by the time i'm done smoothing out this very particular part for the sleeve i'm going to be using the cap sleeve which i matched the same measurement i used for the front i'm going to be using for the back and then also go ahead to join it to the cape of the back okay I actually checked how many inches I used for my front because I forgot at this point. So by the time I checked it, I had to reduce it, the one that I'm using for the back, because I found out that it's bigger than that of the front. So I checked what I used for the front and I had to use the same thing for the back. And now I'm joining it to this very particular cape that I'm marking for the back like so. Some things are moving out of place, so I'm using my tape to hold them down, okay? So this is what it looks like now. And I'm gonna have to trace out that part, the cape area, okay? Now I'll detach the sleeve from the main bodies. 
and for the back I'll be cutting off this very particular side like so and I'll be opening the dart so when we are sewing we just sew it up okay go ahead to open the dart so when we are sewing we sew it up so this is the two pieces for the back and these are the pieces for the front three actually so when we are cutting the parts we are going to be cutting in two we are going to be cutting two pieces of each of this front like you can see now I've cut two pieces of each of the front. Two pieces of each of the front. Please do not cut the center front on fold. Do not cut the center front on fold, okay? So now the center front, you're going to be sewing it together. Because it's two pieces, it's not on fold. You're going to be sewing it together from the front. Be sure you leave an allowance for that, for the sewing of the center front from the front. So for the sides where you have your shoulder princess seam, the, how you're going to be sewing it is first you want to start sewing from the notches of your bust point or your under bust. Please start sewing from the notches of your bust point or your under bust. As you can see, I'm taping it down like so from my bust point notch. I'm taping it down. Start sewing from your bust point notch down or from your under bust notch all the way to the top. Okay. Because those are the very parts you want to consider most. So I'm taping this down like so. And it's beginning to form. Please, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, do well to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up and share this video to other platforms where they will be needed, okay? So I'm going to have to tape this down also. And I'll be taping everything down till it forms a dress like so. So this is what we're having. And the same thing I'll be doing to the other side of it, okay? Same thing I'll be doing to the other side of it, okay? As you can see, same thing I'll be doing to that very side. You can see my notches. I'm going to have to do that same thing to the other side, okay? And next, we are going to be fixing the cape, okay? That part is my shoulder princess seam. Next, we are going to be fixing the cape. So these are my cape. I have to draw those lines on it to differentiate it from the other paper, okay? So these are my cape now. Now, you want to sew the cape, the center front together. Remember, you did not cut on fold. You cut it as two pieces, so you want to sew the center front together, please. So I'm going right now to sew the center front together up to the point where the v-neck stopped. I hope that's quite explainable. Up to the point where the v-neck stopped, you're going to be sewing them together like so. So having done that now, you'll be placing it like so on your dress. Now, do not sew like this. No, do not sew like that. Mm -mm. Do not sew like that. Okay. I know some people will be tempted to do that. Please remove. Do not sew like that. So long as you have drafted your pattern and you got your cape from your main pattern, the only place where you need to hold it is at the top. That other down place will fall on its place. And mind you, you're going to be attaching either a skirt, a flare, or straight, whatever it is, to make this a gown at the waistline. So do not touch those sides. Do not touch those two sides. You're only going to be joining it at the top of it where you're going to be finishing okay where you're going to be finishing it up at the top then for the down you can join either a flare that you've caught or a straight cut whatever it is to the down you can also use it as a top okay you can also use it as a top but please do not touch the side so your sewing or your dress looks professional and neat then for the back we are going to be sewing the darts right now For the back, we're going to have to sew the darts right now, okay? And having sewn the both darts of the back, we're going ahead now to attach our capes. Same thing for the back. Remember here is the center back. You're going to be attaching your zipper at the center back. So for the back, what we're going to be doing is that we're also going to be attaching our cape to the back. And of course, we're going to be sewing it at the top, which is basically your neckline now, okay, at the top, which is basically your neckline now. Same thing like we did to the front. So 
so you sew it here at the top okay same thing here you're going to be sewing at the top please you sew and turn over you sew right sides how do i put it now okay you sew and you kind of turn it over please do not top stitch well do not top stitch you sew and then you turn it over please The right side of the cape is going to be facing the wrong side of your dress. So when you turn it over, the wrong side is going of the cape is going to be facing the right side of the main bodies. I hope that's understandable. So having done that now, to join these two pieces together, to join the front and back together, you first have to sew the cape area of the sleeve. That is the center sleeve. You're going to be joining them together. Okay. You're going to be joining the center sleeve together please you're going to be joining the center sleeve together first okay so i hope you you're seeing it closely there you're going to join the center sleeve together so that's what i'm going to be doing now i'm going to have to use my tape to tape the center sleeve together and for the sides following your measurements you join it together please if you found this tutorial useful thanks